Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to introduce you a new project that I've been through. It's called Binom Miners. But first, a little disclaimer. Please remember everyone, I'm not a financial advisor, so make sure to do your own research and always invest what you can afford to lose. So this project is Binom Miners. So you are actually farming LC that you swap in BNB. So all your rewards get in BNB, so this is very interesting. And the other things that I really like on this game is that everything is open source. So you can check all the contracts. You have the BNB pool contract, the LC pool contract, which is the money that you swap in BNB to get your rewards. So this is pretty interesting. I can go on the contract, check on analytic, and I can see the actual BNB balance of the game. I can check the BNB transfer that is made every day. You can see the money in and the money out every day. So this is very interesting. When everything is open source, you can check all the information by yourself. This is very good. Okay, so now let's go a little bit through the white papers. So I'm gonna tell you more about this game. You can find the white papers on the bottom of the page. So on this game, when you mint, you got a Lumis. You can find all the information on the card here. There is six, no, five, sorry, different type of Lumis. You got the common, uncommon, the rare, the epic, and the legendary. You will have a common on the common box, an uncommon on the uncommon one, and the rare on the rare one. It's only the minting chance going to be on the stars. So every time you open a box, a common, a rare, epic, legendary, each of these box will have the same drop rate of the stars. You can see it here. 29% for one stars and then all of this percent for the others so actually most interesting is those one the four stars and the five stars but even the three stars is very good actually I've made a board for you to make a simple calculation on it I'm gonna try to find it it's just here Okay, so you can see that if you mint a one stars, you will have a 90 day of return on investment. If you mint a two stars, you will have 60 day of return on investment, 30 day for three stars, 15 days for four stars, and 6.6 .6 days for a five stars. So this is actually pretty interesting if you mint five stars or four stars but even a three stars is pretty okay having a one stars is actually really really bad so that's why i decided to not mint only big one like legendary and epic i decided to mint common and uncommon price and uncommon one sorry because if i minted only a legendary or epic and i got a one stars i will get really mad the um, all different Lumis have a maximum of LC that they can stack. After this maximum limit reach, you will have to claim it. The maximum are here. For a common one, it's 25 LC. And 25 LC represent 0 0.005 in BNB. And you have all the other information for the different rarity. I will put this board on my Discord, so if you want to, to take the file, just join the Discord and I will put it on the Pinet message. So now that you have this information, you guys, if you want to jump on it, you make your own strategy. But my one was to mint six box. I got four common and two uncommon because I really don't want it to mint only one or two big one and maybe have only one stars or two stars. That would be really, really bad. So you can see it here. 
it's quite the same information that I've put on my board. You can see that in one star is gonna take 108 hours to get full of stack. Two stars gonna take 72 hours, 36 hours for three stars. You can see it here, the money that they earn daily, but I don't think it's pretty interesting. The information on my board, it's are better, I think. After each withdrawal, there will be a period of 14 days with 10% fee, but this is actually pretty okay when you look at all the other games. And all of these are all the next things that will be upcoming on the game, like the custom build to get more LCs, which is pretty interesting. So crafting stock, a shadron to merge. So this is pretty good. We're not gonna go all through this, so you guys can make your own research. You have the token economic, so 5k LC represent one BNB, and it's a fixed price. So the LC that you earn do not lose in value. They just lose in value if the BNB also lose in value. But 5k LC will always be one BNB. So this is very interesting. You can see it here, the rest of the token economic. So, when you have mint your Lummies, you go on the game, you go on farm, and you will have to put it on a slot. Do not forget to add it on a slot, because otherwise your Lummies will not be farming. And once it goes to 1%, you just have to claim it. Then your LC will go on your wallet. And if you want to make a withdrawal, we're going to make a withdrawal together so you can see how does it works. So I got 50 LC at the moment. If you remember on my board, 50 LC will represent about 0 0.1 BNB. So I'm gonna withdraw the 50. We're gonna together check my BNB balance. So I now have 0 0.36. I should be about 0 0.37 and three, I think, if you put off the gas fee price. So I'm withdrawing. And because I've already made a first withdrawal, I think I will also have 10% uh, fee, which is rated just here, but it's just to show you that the withdrawal works very well and the money just go directly on your wallet as a BNB. So we're gonna quickly now see my BNB wallet, my BNB balance, sorry, gonna go up, I think about 0 0.373, something like that. Just have to wait a little bit that the transaction is made. Okay, and 0 0.373. So this is what I expected because I got taxed by 10%. So this is actually okay. So you can see that the BNB goes directly in your balance and it works really well. I'm pretty happy about this project. And as you can see, there is only 383 player at the moment. So this is a very small project at the moment. So we are on very good entry point, I think. But this is my opinion. It's not a financial advice. I'm just showing you what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to put the link of the website on the description. And there is also a special event these days. So if you mint a five star Lumis, you can go on the Discord, you open a ticket, and you show the transaction to, to a dev team guy or a mod, and you will get rewards by a red pass that will give you an exclusive Lumis. But unfortunately, I did not have this chance. Myself, I made a three stars common, Two two stars common, one four stars. This one is very good. I'm happy about this one. And two two stars uncommon. So I did not get 
crazy luck, but at least I did not have any one stars, so this is actually pretty okay. So it's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Feel free to ask all your questions. I will answer everyone. And I will definitely see you guys on the next video. I will try to take back these channels like I used to do. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content to give me more strength for my comeback, guys. Have a great day and I will see you on the next one.